Hi there, human design generator. I'm Karen McMullen, and in today's video, I'm going to walk you through the essential information you need to understand about your human design aura type in under 10 minutes. What makes a generator a generator? Generators have a defined sacral center. This will be the second center from the bottom in your chart. It will be colored in. This means that this center is something reliable and dependable about who you are and how you operate in the world. 70% of people on the planet have this center defined which means that we live in a generator world and that you're surrounded by generators. Now, sometimes people don't resonate with the idea of being a generator because so many other people are generators, but this really doesn't have anything to do with how unique you are because there are so many other factors in your chart that show up as uniqueness. When we're talking about your type, we're talking about what type of aura do you have? meaning that your presence doesn't just stop here at your body, it actually extends out from beyond you. And that this aura that you have has certain properties that you can learn to understand and honor that will make it easier for you to navigate your life. The generator aura is open, enveloping, and attractive. It's open, meaning that generators don't have a barrier between themselves and especially other generators they can really come together they can meld they can be close and that's a beautiful thing there's this also enveloping quality of the aura it, um, surrounds and embraces whatever it's encountering and most importantly the generator aura is attractive meaning it's attracting to you everything that's right for you. So this is the way that the generator manifests is just by being. It's attracting to it everything that's right for it. This is profound. If you really accept this as true and experiment with it, what this means is that you do not need to go after the things that you want in life because the things that are right for you are coming this way. They're coming to you and you're gonna know it when they get there because your life force or your energy is gonna respond and you're gonna feel, uh-huh, this is for me. You're gonna feel an inner yes to the things that are truly for you. You're going to have more energy and aliveness that comes to you in response to the things that are right to you. This is what the words wait to respond mean for the generator. On your chart, you will notice that it says strategy. So every type has a specific strategy that is suggested or recommended to honor the properties of your aura. And since the, one of the main properties of the generator aura is that it's attracting to it everything that's right for it, it means that you're not here to go after things that you want. You're not here to initiate and try to make things happen. You're here to let things come to you and to respond when they show up. And so waiting and being in a receptive state is a core aspect of being a generator. Now, this doesn't mean that you sit around doing nothing all the time and just uh, twiddling your thumbs while you wait for things to happen. No, go about your life, do the things that you have energy for, go to work, uh, play with your kids, buy groceries, eat food, work out, do the things that, that are your things that you do. And so the wait to respond cue is more about how you navigate starting things and what you're devoting your energy to. This leads us to the next point, which is that as a generator, you have a defined sacral center. The sacral center represents things like life force energy. It's life force that multiplies, that when you use your life force well, it expands, it grows, it creates. 
It is the essence of creativity, such as making babies, working, building things. When you use your life force well, it will regenerate. For example, it wouldn't be uncommon for a generator to have plenty of energy to go skiing in the morning and then to go and work and then to play with their kids and then to go and do some grocery shopping and then at the end of the day just kind of be exhausted, go to bed and wake up the next day with energy regenerated because the day before they really used their energy well. As a generator, the most important thing is for you to be using your life force energy well. And how will you know if you're using your life force energy well? You will feel satisfied. Satisfaction is the signature of the generator when they're using their energy in the way that it is intended to be used. In contrast, you'll know that you're not using your life force well. Another way to say that would be that you're abusing your life force if you're feeling frustrated. Frustration is the not self theme of the generator, which means that that's the sign that you are not using your energy for the intended use of why you are here. The idea here is that generators will have a lot of energy for the things that they resonate with and they will have little to no energy for the things that they don't resonate with. And depending on who you are, your energy could be quite specific about what you resonate with. Generators are known as the worker bees and the doers and the builders, but I would like to just say that that's not always the case. You, you could be a generator and only have energy for very specific things. And from the outside perspective, you might even seem lazy because you're not wanting to do um, much else other than the things that you have energy for. The amount of energy that you have in the way that you work is also gonna be influenced by other aspects of your design, such as whether you have a defined or undefined root center, for example. When you're making a decision about how to use your energy or whether or not something is really right for you, that's where you're gonna to refer to your decision-making authority, which will either be emotional authority or sacral authority. And there are separate videos about that on this channel that I'll put in the links below and I'll try to put one up here on the screen as well. In closing, I'd like to say that a core theme for generators is about are you using your energy correctly? And when you're not using your energy correctly for what you're really here for, you are a slave. You are enslaving your energy for a purpose other than its intended use. And most generators on our planet right now are operating from a frequency of enslavement and disempowerment, which means that they're not really being honest with themselves about what they truly wanna be doing, what they really have energy for. And that makes them exhausted, depleted, frustrated, potentially even in despair or depression. So I encourage you after watching this video to be honest with yourself about what you have energy for and to go forward and experiment with what is my life force energy, my sacral gut center really saying to me and listen, listen to what makes you feel satisfied and listen to what makes you feel frustrated. Pay attention to the use of your life force energy and let that guide you as you move forward. There's a much longer, more in-depth video about the generator on my channel. I definitely encourage you to check it out and really get a full sense of this. Please subscribe to the channel to support me in creating this content. Stay tuned. I plan to do a, an entire series just about the generator where I interview generators so that you can really see in real life people who are thriving as generators. Give this video a like, thumbs up if you resonated. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to share with you more content about human design. Take care.